I work on these two covers of celebration, where we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for his love and for us in our lives. We in a special way also work for intentions of Hector Angelo, Paul Nguyen, Peter Lang Nguyen, Joseph and John Nguyen, Mary Pichu, Theodore Eden and Jacob. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this weekend, let us call to mind our sins, asking God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life of the last. Let us Grant Almighty God that we may in truth receive this year in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Then they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to a song, Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. <clears throat> I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard my words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right to you, o Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I call, you answer me. You build up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. For 
forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, alleluia.
And my senior brother looked at us, and everybody was quiet. <laughs> and my brother said, am I speaking English? <laughs> no. I said, let me see your books, three of you, quick. We went back to the room, came back. Our book, they are still in the press time condition, never open. Nothing was written. And this is the first time they're asking us about the book after our during holiday classes. And my brother said, we did not go to that school. So where did you go to? We were playing soccer. And I can assure you, it did not end well. <laughs> so, we will hide the facts. You hide the truth. They will come out. There is no two ways. Even in history, people will come back to say, this is not actually what happened look at what happened. So in the same way, Paul and Silas, they were giving people the truth for the community, the heads of the community, the leaders of the people, they want to stop it. They want to kill it. And like I said before, truth has its own power, which is innate. You cannot kill it. And Jesus has said often times, I am the truth. I am the truth. And he said, if I go away, I will send you the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. So these are the things you don't have power to kill, to destroy. The better way is to say it as early as possible. Give the fact as it is. If it is about fight, and you are on the side of the truth, God will always fight for you. God will always be with you. And God will always enlighten you to speak more about the truth. For the truth is the power of our salvation. Please turn. As we continue to pray for Hector and Taylor, for all men, it's a light way. John and Joseph when Mary with you, Theodore, Eden, and Jacob. We also remember all those who requested our prayers, especially our parishioners, our friends, our relatives, and those who cannot find somebody to pray for them. God, in your mercy, in your love, in your generosity, attend to their needs, their requests, their desires, and their longings. Those who have died, grant them eternal rest. Those who are sick, grant them quick recovery, health of mind and body. And we who have gathered here this morning, we will continue to praise you, we will continue to seek for you. We will continue to speak the truth in good times and in bad times, in happiness and in sorrow, in love and in hate. We will always give you the reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for perfectness. We have received the bread, we offer the fruit of the earth, and the walk of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Let us be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, which will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his whole church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in this Paschal mystery, so that the renewer constantly at work within us may be the cause of our contending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation as all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time we both all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is reduced, and the integrity of life is restored to Christ in us. Therefore, overcome with fast to God. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the any hymn of glory as they are clear. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power is both the earth of the Lord your glory, both high and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, both high and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the crown of all believers. Make holy, therefore, this peace we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the good one, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this alone, you are a of it, for this is my body, which will be given half to you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of you. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis, and Pope, Pastor, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your faith. Have mercy and bless all in That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as fathers, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the cases. To the glorious and eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your servant Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, now found by divine teaching, we are to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all these works, as we come with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For so the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us come to each other and sign our peace. Father, thank you. Lamb of God. Blessed are those who are called into the suffer of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my right hand, but only say the word of my soul.
that Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Our Almighty God continue to bless you, Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Have a very nice day. Thank you, Father.